The ROM looks basically stock at first launch, so nothing in overall visual design of Android experience has been changed. In my opinion, that's perfect, since I have yet to find OEM skin that has made any meaningful visual improvements over stock Android. Not everybody likes stock Android, but I stand by it. Few old features are making new appearance, most notable features are Pi mode which is alternative navigation bar and color theme engine. Now if you are not familiar with Pi mode, it's an alternative of navigation bar. Basically Pi mode stuns tapping home and going back into edge gestures just like Samsung S8. If you hate your hardware navigation but still want maximum screen space, you have a beautiful compromise in form of Pi mode. And also not to forget you can completely customize Pi mode, you can change its color and you can assign different actions also. Now let's talk about color theme engine. Color theme engine allows you to change your phone's primary and accent colors throughout the user interface. Now this color engine is more powerful and more versatile than Oxygen OS color engine. And with this new update, now you can choose more dark and more bright colors to customize your phone. And as I explained in my OnePlus Phone and OnePlus 3 review, camera in this room is really unique, images look fantastic with bit less blown out in high contrast and much improved low light performance. But there is one thing I don't like about this camera. Sometimes lighting at night is unnaturally brightened, almost to the point that sky looks like it's still noon. Apart from that, the camera is super fast, quick to autofocus, it can shoot in 4K UHD and also slow motion at 120fps. Have a look at some photos and a video sample I took with this camera. I have been using this room on my Redmi Note 4 since last 7 days and no air force close, no random reboot, the room is smooth as butter. The RAM management is outstanding, Bluetooth is working, Wi-Fi is working, fingerprint is working, the charging speed is faster than other rooms, I can charge my Redmi Note 4 from 0 to 100% in less than 2 hours. And if you decide to set up with this room, this room provides OT updates, so you don't need to worry about updating your room in the future. Now let's talk about most crucial part of any room, battery life. Now Redmi Note 4 already gives me good battery life, but with this room, it gave me 8 hours of screen on time and standby time on this room is more than 3 days. And I know many of you might be wondering if color theme engine has any conflicts with subsidiary themes. I personally tested 4 major themes and there is no problem so far. So beautiful boot animation, outstanding features, subsidiary theme engine, color theme engine with Pi mode, I'm going to give this room 4.7 out of 5. And if you want to install this room, all the links for all the supported devices will be in the description box below. Also you can watch this room's review for OnePlus One and OnePlus 3 or 3T, all the video links will be also in the description box below. So that's it for today, don't forget to like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel, subscribe if you are new because I make this kind of videos almost every day. This is Nas signing out and I will see you next time.